About a year ago, I made a video where I presented my top 5 most liked images on Instagram, the gear and settings used, and a little backstory. What we then learned from it was three things. Firstly, the camera doesn't matter. Price, technology, sensor size, etc. It simply doesn't matter. Secondly, you don't need to plan ahead, use a studio or go on expensive trips to capture images that people will appreciate. Any time or place will do. All the images on that list were simply captured on my way to and from work. And thirdly, likes doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great image. And in the same way, not getting likes doesn't mean that you didn't capture something special. So keep going as long as you enjoy it. Fast forward one year, I have since added over 10,000 new followers, which by itself means a higher average of likes. And just like last time, all the cameras have been reviewed on my channel, links are in the description. On fifth place at the time of recording, we find an image titled Going Against the Current. It is captured just a few weeks ago with an old and very cheap Pentax MX-1 compact camera. It's during a funeral I attended and perfectly illustrates the old saying that the best camera is the one you have with you. Because my big SLR was left in the car on the parking lot. When I saw the girl's expression, it was a given opportunity. I put the camera in program and exposed down a tad with the exposure compensation. The light inside was super easy to work with, no need for fancy manual settings. The super quiet leaf shutter made the whole ordeal very discreet. And yes, I had remembered to turn off the cat sound. What works in the image is the story it tells. Even if you've never been in a church, we have all been a child and bored at some event forced upon us by grown-ups. It is so easy to identify with the feeling of frustration. Fourth is an old image originally captured in November 2016 that I did a throwback to in late 2018. It's an underpass in Amsterdam right next to the train station. I passed it every day for a week on my way to and from a conference, but I think I captured it on the very first night. The camera was the Fuji X70, a really nice little street performer. I simply exposed with the shutter to freeze the motion and used as high of an ISO as I felt comfortable with. The composition was kind of given. On third we have a landscape. This is captured with the full frame Pentax K1 and the super high megapixel saved me from having to cross the entire field. I shot it with the intention of cropping. The lens was the cheap 50mm f1.4. The key here is seizing the moment. It is minus 20 degrees Celsius. I'm on my way to work and have regular shoes and jeans on, but when I see the sun going through the trees I just had to do it. I stopped on a somewhat trafficked road, hazard lights on and started walking. Filled my shoes with snow, almost froze my hands off, but it was worth it. I can't tell you how many times I've captured successful images and it's all due to me just doing it. Rain, snow, fatigue, etc. and so forth, there are always a thousand reasons not to take a photo. My tip is to learn to ignore them. The saying go out and shoot when no one else is, is something I tell myself all the time. On second place we see the principle in effect again. I've picked up my girlfriend from work, she is tired and hungry, I'm tired and hungry, the dog is tired and hungry. No one wants to stop and take any photos. While driving, I get a glimpse of the lake behind a few houses across a train track. I know this is not going to be popular, but also that if we suffer through, it will be worth it. So without asking, I cross the tracks and say, let's go. It resulted in a couple of very nice images. One of the others was so popular, it's earned its own place on this list, 
but since they are from the same time, I will show all of them in one spot instead. I used the Canon EOS R and the Kipon medium format focal reducer for the others, but the one we are focusing on was again the small and simple Pentax MX1. I shot it in manual, felt easy enough given the smooth light. Unfortunately, the pier was too tall to make this a flipped image. The horizon would have been totally off. But nevertheless, I got a nice composition. What makes this image works is partly the minimalism, which is very trendy now, but also that you can appreciate it from a quick look or stare at it for a while to really work out what it is exactly you're seeing. Before we look at the number one, I will add that during the making of this video, this image captured with the Ricoh GR Mark III took off and would have landed it at least a fourth place on this list. But given that gunpowder is the subject of the number one image and by a huge margin, I will let it slide. On first place we find Gunpowder the dog by a lake and it has accumulated 3051 likes so far. This is captured on one of our daily walk routes. It's obviously a staged portrait that I plan to capture when heading out. I used the Fuji X-T2 and the 23mm f2. I shot it at f2 to get shallow depth of field. Shutter speed 1 over 2000 of a second to preserve the sunset and the sky. And then I used a flash to light her. Why the image works doesn't require any deeper analysis. Cute dog, summer landscape, sunset, some bokeh and a nice exposure. So that's the new list. Any new conclusions to be drawn? Well, first of all, it proves and strengthens last year's theory about gear. There simply isn't any correlation between gear, sensor size, lenses, etc. and people liking your images. Secondly, it strengthens the advice of shooting wherever and whenever you can, and not just wait around for a trip or vacation. And also that you should stop trying to find reasons not to take an image. Thirdly, don't be afraid to branch out of your comfort zone. On last year's list it was only street photography. And one might be tempted to stay within the genre that gave some likes or moderate success, but during the year I have shot a lot of landscapes, cows and horses instead. And the account is still growing. I firmly believe that shooting what you enjoy for the moment is what's important and the enthusiasm will shine through the images to the viewer. It will also help you grow as a photographer across all genres. That's it for this time, subscribe for upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye!